Good morning, y'all. My name is Amy Breland. I am an FCA ambassador. Today, I'm going to be talking about judgment. And my focus verse is John 3, 19. But I'm going to give a little background about the Apostle John. He is also known as the Apostle of Love. The theme of love is all throughout his writings. So, let's dive in. John 3, 19 says, And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than the light because their works were evil so y'all probably like hold up now you just said the apostle john's theme was love yeah it was love but john's writings also focus on judgment he addressed the salvation of mankind which is originated out of love for fallen sinners so when we think about when it's originated out of love we can look back at john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son for who shall believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life so once we know that and we see that we look towards well what are the fallen sinners all are fallen sinners romans three twenty three says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god but check this out romans six twenty three says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So there's the love of God that he shows us. He shows us his love in his words. Judgment also is the inevitable result of people who choose to reject Christ's gracious offer for salvation by grace through faith. So there are two kinds of people. Those who believe in Jesus Christ and accept him as their savior and Lord, and they're saved through faith by grace. And there are those who do not believe, those who reject, and they are condemned and judged. So um, Jesus was not sent into the world to judge the world, but he was sent into the world to save the world. So you can look back at John three sixteen through 18, as it talks about him coming to save the world, not to judge it but there is judgment in the world because we are fallen sinners. We fall short of God's glory. We have sin in our lives. There is judgment and condemnation for those who do not believe. So Christ's death, God sent his son as a gift to save man from perishing. Christ died for our sins, but there are those men who perish and it's all on their own because his love is, he loves the darkness rather than he loves light. So when we look at that, we can say, okay, well, what's next? Well, you got two choices. Christ dies for your sins or you die for your own sins. Christ takes on the punishment and the wrath and condemnation of our sins. He takes on everything or we take on our own sins. We have guilt, regret. We feel them on our own. We, we're separated from God and we don't know what it's like to have someone else take upon our sins and take them as a gift for us, for us to be able to spend eternal life with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and God in heaven. Christ did that for us. He took on our weight of sins. The man who remains a condemned sinner has brought judgment of God, the condemnation of man, the wrath of God, and the punishment of God upon himself. So I got a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. And it says, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So when we look at our world right now, we're like, there's so much darkness, so much hate, so much judgment. But we can look at the other side. There was love through all of us who love Jesus Christ. We can let our light shine brighter than the hate, the judgment, because God calls us to be like Christ, walk like Christ, live in Christ likeness. We're Christ ambassadors. And we want his light to shine through our lives. So um, I wrote down a little, uh, some lyrics from Thomas Rhett's song, Be a Light. In a time full of war, be peace. In a time for it, full of doubt, just believe. Yeah, there ain't that much difference between you and me. In a time for, full of war, be peace. 
in a world full of hate be a lot. When you do somebody wrong, make it right. Don't hide in the dark. You were born to shine. In a war world full of hate, be a light. So be a light to those around you today. I hope that you can help those understand that there is condemnation. There is punishment for our sins. Thank you.